Well, hello, good morning. My name is Paul Karafotis. Uh, my wife and I, Karen, you may know her, um, live here in Malashark. We've lived here for about five years. Uh, in fact, if you go down towards Kivanitsum, you probably have uh, run across my dog, which uh, she's rather loud. Uh, we have three children at the school. Jack, who is a senior, who is graduating this year, and uh, is going off to, uh, to Brown University. Uh, we're very excited about that. Uh, Kate, uh, who is a sophomore, uh, co-founder of uh, the school uh, newspaper. And Kira, who is in sixth grade, uh, she is, uh, well, she's into uh, basketball and, and softball quite a bit. We're a German-American family. Uh, my wife is, uh, uh, was born in, in Frankfurt, went to uh, the Frankfurt International School, and that's where I became introduced, in a way, to, to the international school system. I'm a product of uh, uh, American educational system. Uh, I grew up in uh, just north of Chicago. And uh, we both met at uh, Stanford University some time ago now. Uh, in terms of career, my professional background is in marketing as well as in uh, general management. Uh, I started with Procter & Gamble. I uh, actually moved here with a company called Racket Benkeiser back in 96. Many of the products you may have in your house, the cleaning products, are from my companies. Uh, I introduced Vanish into the market or Finish or Dettol. Uh, certain, um, lots of cleaning products. Uh, as you can imagine, as, uh, as a general manager, I have certain experience in terms of large organizations, um, uh, managing complex projects. Uh, my key background or my key areas of uh, experience, though, and expertise are in advertising, uh, marketing, um, public relations, of course. Uh, but as uh, given my past, I also have a significant uh, experience in terms of financial. Uh, oh, we lost the screen again. Financial uh, compliance uh, controls, uh, as well as um, regulatory issues, uh, corporate governance issues, things like that. Uh, most recently, I was a uh, executive director of a group called Home Brands. It was a private equity venture. Uh, we made Savo and Biolet. Uh, I might know those products as well. That was recently sold off to uh, Unilever back in 2013. And so I've had, uh, I've had lots of time on my hands to get much more involved in the school. My wife and I, uh, like the others, uh, we place a uh, very high priority on education. Uh, education is fundamental uh, in our family. Uh, and having, well, fortunately my wife works, so I've had a lot of time to get involved at the, at the school. I've seen many of you actually in, in coffee mornings and things like that. Uh, and we happen to be very big supporters of uh, ISP. We have uh, made a conscious decision to bring our children uh, to the school. Uh, originally, we lived on the other side of Prague. They attended a different um, international school. And we decided that ISP offers the breadth and the depth uh, of experience that was important to us, it was important for us uh, to have a school uh, where the kids could grow, explore, develop, not only academically, but socially, as well as you know, with the, the given extracurricular activities. Um, so we're very, very uh, keen supporters of the uh, school mission statement. Uh, my goals, or you know, when I look at ISP, what, what, you know, what do I see is, is uh, uh, a great, objective looking out. I'm actually going to borrow from, from Kim's uh, internet bio on the ISP pages because I think she said it best. She said, uh, our hope is for ISP to be an exceptional international school offering a dynamic learning environment uh, that supports a strong academic program. And I, I really couldn't say it better, so <laughs> well put. <laughs> <laughs> Um, of course, I think that the school needs to, uh, to be constructively challenged. Um, we've, our kids have experienced all levels, from elementary to middle uh, to, uh, of course, upper school. And now with my son graduating, we've, we've even gone through the whole uh, uh, university uh, uh, process. So we know it quite well, and we know the strengths and weaknesses. We're not blind to the, fact, uh, uh, the facts of, of each of the schools. And I do think it's... Um, it's imperative for parents, uh, board members, uh, everybody to always uh, uh, be looking to raise the bar, if you will, to, uh, to uh, uh, always seek to make this a better place. I, I think it's an outstanding institution, and I'm so glad our kids are here. 
Uh, in fact, you know, sometimes I, I, the, some of the projects are, the things that they work on amaze me. My, in, in the span of about three weeks last year, my son not only wrote a, a mathematics uh, uh, paper for his IB that I didn't really, I couldn't get past the first sentence, but he also killed a chicken with his bare hands in Week Without Walls. So <laughs> it's a unique combination of what you get here, and uh, I certainly treasure that and, and, uh, and hope, to, hope to strengthen that uh, uh, and, and support that in the future. So, uh, as I tell my kids, always, I always tell them, get involved, take the initiative. This, I'm putting my, my uh, money where my mouth is, in a sense, and uh, that's my goal, is, is to bring the skills that I've developed over uh, some 25, 30 years in business uh, to see if I can make a difference and to support what I think is a great and outstanding school. That's it.